hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created a page to view ordered product details and in today's video we will create the review dto and we will create the post review api call in our backend application so let's get started in our spring boot application to create the post review api first of all we need to create the review dto and to do that we can right click on our DTO package and we can create a new Java class and we can name this class as review DTO. After this we need to give the annotation of at the rate data to this class and then let's go to our review entity and here we will copy all the properties and we will paste them in the review DTO. After this we need to remove all the annotations And after this we need to mention a property of type multipart and we can name this as image to get the image from our angular application. After this we need to rename this one to returned image and then instead of the whole user we will mention the user id of type long. After this we need to replace this product with the product id. And at the end we will mention another property which is user name. Our review DTO is completed. Now let's go back to review service implementation. And in this class we will write a method and this method will return review DTO and we can name this method as give review. And in the params of this method we will mention the review DTO. In the body of this method first of all we need to get the product and user so let's create one optional variable of product and we can name this as optional product and we will call our product repository dot find by id method and we will pass review dto dot get product id after this let's create one optional variable of user and we can name this as optional user and we will use user repository dot find by id method and in the param we will pass review dto dot get user id now let's inject our user and product repository here and let's import the classes after this we need to check if our optional product and optional user is present then only we will create the review and to do that we can write here one if condition and we will check optional product dot is present and then we will check our optional user as well in the else case we will write the return statement and we will return null and in the body of our if condition we will create a new review and we can name this as review now we need to set the data in this entity so we can start by setting the rating which we can get from review dto dot get rating after the rating we will set the description after the description we will set the user and after the user we will set the product after this we need to set the image so we will call review dot set image and we will get it from review dto dot get image dot get bytes now to use this get bytes method we need to add exception to the method signature at the end we will write the return statement and we will call our review repository dot save method and we will pass our review and then to convert this entity to dto we will call get dto method now let's create the object of our review repository as well now we need to create this review repository and for that we will open our repository package and we will right click on this package and we will create a new java class and we will name this as review repository and this should be an interface after creating this interface we need to annotate this with at the rate repository annotation and we need to extend this from jpa repository and here we need to mention the entity which is review and after the entity we need to mention the data type of our primary key which is long 
now let's go back to our review service implementation and let's import this class and now we need to create this get dto method inside our review entity so let's open the review entity and here we will create a method which will return review dto and we can name this as get dto and in the body we will create the object of the review dto and first of all we need to set the id after the id we will set the rating after the rating we will set the description and after the description we will set the returned image after the image we need to set the product id which we can get from product.getid after the product id we will set the user id and at the end we will set the user name now we will write the return statement and we will return our review dto now let's go back to our review service implementation and here we need to copy this and we will mention it in the review service now we need to create the endpoint so we will open our review controller inside the customer package and here we will write a new method which will return a response entity and we can name this method as give review and then we need to mention the annotation which is model attribute and we can mention here review dto we are giving the model attribute annotation instead of request body because we want to get the multi-part file which is image in this method we will create a new review dto and we can call our review service dot give review method and in the params we will pass review dto and after this we will write here one if condition and we will check if review dto1 is equals to null then we will write the return statement and we will return response entity dot status and for the status we will pass http status and we will return bad request and then we will call dot body method and in the body we will return something went wrong in the else case we will write the return statement and we will return response entity dot status and we will return http status dot created and then we will call body method and we will return our review dto and at the end we will mention at the rate post mapping for our method and for the path we will set it as slash review now we need to add the exception to this method as well so we can click here to add the exception and our give review api is completed now let's run our backend application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and that's it for this video in the next video we will create the page to post the review and we will call this api